Lohal, Arjun, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Saivid Institute of Technology. Uh, in this session, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, uh, projection of planes. And the problem is the square lamina of 40 mm sides rest on one of its corners on HP such that one of the diagonal is intended at 30 degrees to HP and 45 degrees to VP, draw its projections. To start with, I'll go to line command, say the thickness to 0 0.13, and uh, first create XY line, mark VP and HP on it. So X, Y, this will be VP, and this will be HP. And to create a square lamina, there are two ways. So in the earlier video, I created a square lamina using rectangle method. And in this video, I'll show you a different uh, method to create uh, a lamina, a polygon. So go to applications, macros, run macro. Here you can choose inside polygon, click open. You'll get a dialog menu. Here we have to choose flat length and choose the flat length as whatever the side of the polygon given. Now side of the polygon is 40 mm. So I will choose 40 mm and number of sites to create for square lamina will have four sites. I will select four, minimize and place your cursor on the screen. And later on, you can select this particular lamina and move it to the location that you desire. And if you want to change the thickness, change the thickness to 0 0.50 so that it will be made very clearly visible. And now, so this this is in this particular problem, it, 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 40 mm sites rest on one of its corners on HP. And uh, so in order to make this, I'll select this entire lamina, go to rotate command. I will select one diagonal and the other diagonal and rotate it to 90 degrees, 180 degrees. And uh, directly you can pull this down. So now this becomes a square lamina with one of its corners resting on HP. So that if you draw the projection lines, so you'll be getting one point nearest to the XY plane. And say if this is end A, point A, this will be point B, this will be point C, and this will be point D. And when you draw the projections, this B and D will coincide draw the projection still xy line intersection of xy line and from c draw the projection still till the intersection of xy line and now create front view again this uh, square lamina in the front view it appears as a straight line so i'll create a front view of this you can go to line command create separate lines from a dash to b dash of d dash and c dash let us name this so this will be in a dash and this will be B dash of D dash the other point will be C dash now this completes stage 1 in this particular problem and in order to create stage 2 so it says that it is inclined at 30 degrees with respect to HP so I will select this particular stage 1 front view of the stage one drawing, go to copy, turn on copy command, and select in A dash, move it to in any convenient distance with respect to stage one, place it, and directly go to rotate command. Since this, it is inclined at 30 degrees with respect to HP, I'll select A dash, and then I'll select C dash, and the rotation angle will be 30 degree, Okay, now we have to draw the projection lines. Select thickness 0 0.13. Say from A dash till A intersection of point A. So this will be A. This is point A. And see again if I draw the projections from this end, B dash and D dash. So here I'll be getting D dash and here I'll be getting B dash. So this is point B, 
B dash is projected onto point B and D dash is projected onto point D. And if I take projections from C dash, so now create a square lamina, the same line command, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to A. Now he says that one of its diagonal such that one of its diagonal is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Now this is a diagonal which is inclined at 30 degrees with respect to HP and 45 degrees with respect to VP. So if we see this, this particular diagonal is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to VP, sorry, HP. Now it is inclined at 30 degrees with respect to HP. And in order to measure the diagonal, true length of the diagonal, I'll create one line from end AC in first position and from AC in the second position. Okay. Now again, he says this diagonal is inclined at 45 degrees with respect to VP. So this becomes a beta angle problem. So first I'll construct one line at an angle of uh, uh, 45 degrees with respect to VP. From now, I'll measure the true length. So measure smart dimension of this diagonal, true length of the diagonal, so which is around 56.57. And similarly measure the smart dimension of this length, so which is around 48.499. Now go to arc by center point. So with this, this as radius, that is 56.57 as radius. Now with 56.57 as radius, we can place, we can choose one reference point and draw an arc with a radius of 56.57 on this 45 degree line like this and uh, generate a locus line at the intersection of this particular point. When you get the intersection symbol, you can just draw one line. This is a locus line. And uh, again, go to arc by center point. Now, uh, with this apparent length as radius, that is 48.99 as radius. You place a cursor on this curve so that this point, the earlier point uh, selected will be shown. Select this as a midpoint again and with the radius of 48.99, cut an arc with radius of 48. Point nine nine. Cut an arc on the locus. And now select space two. I will select this stage to drawing. And since this diagonal is inclined at certain angles, copy. So turn on copy command and select this end C diagonal and place it on the center point where we have drawn the locus. I'm placing it on this and go to rotate. Select end point C and end point A. 
and rotate it on to point. Now we can uh, draw the projections onto front view. Now go to take the projection line, change the thickness to 0 0.10. See from end A, so A dash is on the XY line. So till the intersection of XY line. Now this will become A dash. And from end B. So now B dash and D dash are here. Till you get straight line command. So this will be point B dash. And now from end C till the intersection of C dash. So this will be point C dash. And now from end D, again D dash will be here. Now create a square lamina from A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to D dash, D dash to A dash. Now the square lamina in front view appears as a plane, sorry, rectangle. Now this will be, this is stage one. This is stage two. This will be stage three drawing. This entire thing will be top view. And this will be front view. Thank you.